Yes, Ali, am I audible to you? Yes, ma'am. All right. Okay. Uh, see, thermal expansions we were doing, one derivation was left. Let us complete that first. See, the final length formula that we had seen, the final length formula, that was L is equal to L naught 1 plus alpha delta T. This was the formula. When I say final volume, final volume will be equal to V is equal to V naught 1 plus just V is equal to V naught 1 plus gamma delta T. All right. See, volume, if we want to write it in terms of length, volume is equal to L cube. V naught is equal to L naught to the power cube. All right. So, volume, we can write this as V naught 1 plus alpha delta T cube. All right. 1 plus alpha delta T. Now, see, why have we written this? We have substituted this in over this. Now, see, if we apply binomial expression. One plus x to the power n, where x is less than one. Is equal to one plus n into x. So, Volume is equal to V naught 1 plus 3 alpha delta T. Why? N was here. This was the power 3. So, N X. So, multiply it. We will multiply it. V is equal to V naught 1 plus 3 alpha delta T. So, this is 1. This is our first equation. Now, see. If you compare all these equations with the main one. With the main equation. You will get the result. Al gamma is actually equal to. 3 times alpha, do you see? V is equal to V naught 1 plus gamma delta T. Instead of gamma, we are getting 3 alpha. So, this is one relation. Alpha is equal to gamma by 3. And beta is equal to alpha by 2. This is also one relation. This is helpful in some numerical values. Write it down. This derivation can come. This relation is helpful in the numericals also. Copy it down. Uh, excuse me, ma'am. Yes, Alia. Ma'am, uh, in third equation, why don't we have gamma instead of alpha? In the third equation, we have replaced. Yeah. No, the, see, V is equal to L cube. Right. So, yeah. instead of V is equal to this, we have written this whole cube. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, okay. 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 That's okay. Right.
Now, see, these are certain applications of thermal expansions of solid. First is by laying the railway tracks, a small gap is left between the successive lengths of the rails. All right. Why is this gap left? Because see, when the train will come due to the heating effect, the railway track, there's a possibility that it will expand. Understood? It will expand. So that's why small gap is already left. Otherwise, if there is no space, then it would change its shape and produce deformity, which can derail it. When the iron tire is to be put on a wheel, the tire is made slightly smaller in diameter than that of wheel. Why? Because thermal expansion will occur. Then it will be exactly on it. Otherwise, if the same size is there, then it will be bigger than the wheel. Iron tire will be bigger than the wheel. So, that will not produce perfect rolling motion. In bridges, one end is rigidly fastened to its abutment while the other rests on the roller. The fact that a solid expands on heating and contracts on cooling is utilized in gravity. Note this, these down applications. Uh, from your NCRT, read some of the applications more from your textbook. Write it down first.
now see the applications of thermal expansion of solids so first is the time period of pendulum there's a formula we'll be studying this uh, in detail in waves and oscillation 2 pi under root l by g all right time period is equal to 2 pi under under root l by g now some variables are there which you have to understand which we will we'll be using. Like T1 is the time period at theta 1. What is theta 1? Theta 1 is the temperature 1. T2 is the time period at temperature theta 2. Length 1 is the length of pendulum at theta 1. L2 is the length of pendulum at theta 2. T1 is equal to 2 pi under root L1 by G. T2 is equal to 2 pi under root L2 by G. So T1 by T2. This is equal to 2 pi under root L1 by G is there. Fine into this will become 2 pi under root l2 by g so root g root g 2 pi 2 pi will be cancelled t1 by t2 is equal to under root l1 by l2 this is a formula that we will be using now see one more thing class sometimes it happens that we can use this also length i'll relate it with length do one thing write down this first then we'll write it it will take a little time write it first
see class now a uh, continuation of this so this ratio based question can be asked to you so length can be l not 1 plus alpha delta t t1 by t2 is equal to under root now see when here we'll take the ratio let's put in the value of the length see if we have this value you know l is equal to this is what this is the change in temperature delta t delta t is the change in temperature so T1 by T2, 1 plus alpha delta theta. All right, this is it. So when you will take the ratio T1 by T2, it will be 1 by 1 plus alpha delta theta to the power half, which is T2 by T1 is equal to 1 plus alpha delta theta to the power half. Again, we'll use the binomial. So T1 by T2 will be equal to 1 plus 1 plus half alpha delta theta. All right. Now, see here what happens. You know, there is one concept. How can we lose time or gain time? How can we lose time or gain time? So, see. If, suppose, if I will tell you that the, uh, I have increased the temp. This is a pendulum clock. All right. Suppose the length increases. If I tell you that one complete duration that it takes, suppose this is two seconds. As soon as one oscillation is completed, this minute hand goes to this. All right. This is set in this. This is fit in this. Fine. Now, for this duration, let's say this is two seconds. Yes, this, this time duration is two seconds when one oscillation is completed. Now, see, if suppose I'll say the length increases, I have increased the length of the pendulum. So what will happen when the uh, length of the pendulum is increased? If length is increased, time period will also increase the formula which you people have written. This is one of the applications. You can get separate questions from this. Time period will also increase. If time period will increase, then clock will start losing time fast. All right. It will start losing time one oscillation wouldn't be completed and it would be reached to, again, it wouldn't be completed, it would reach to, time period will increase. Whereas, if suppose this is very short, this is very short. So, suppose here the time will become three seconds. The oscillation time, suppose, to complete becomes three seconds. If we decrease the length, time period will also decrease. Right? To complete this entire duration, time will also be less. So, it means clock has started gaining the time. So, these are certain applications of it which you should be aware of. Apart from this, this one question I wanted to discuss. Gamma is given. Uh, a clock with an iron pendulum keeps correct time at 20 degrees Celsius. How much will it lose or gain if temperature changes to 40 degrees Celsius? So, T2 by T1 is equal to 1 plus half alpha delta theta. Now, see, gamma is given. We don't have the value of alpha. Remember, uh, Alia was there in the starting of class. Alia, there was a relation which we derived. Gamma, we, uh, alpha is equal to gamma by 3. So, from this, we can get 36 into 10 to the power minus 6 divided by 3, which is equal to 12 into 10 to the power minus 6. Fine. Delta theta is equal to 40 minus 20 is equal to 20 degree Celsius. Now see T2 minus T1, uh, T2 is equal to T1 plus T1 alpha delta theta by 2. This is the formula which you will use. And directly you can use the formula T1 alpha delta theta divided by 2. This will give you the change in time. If fractional change in time period is asked, then what you will calculate delta T by T1 is alpha delta theta by 2. These are This is a formula-based uh, derivation only. This will help you solve many questions similar to time period. All right. If time uh, change in time period in one second is asked, so delta T by T1 is equal to half into 12 into 10 to the power minus 6 into 20. Delta T by T1 is equal to 12 into 10 to the power minus 5. This is the change in time period for one second. All right. So, this will be your answer. Change in time period in one second. Fine. Some other applications are there. There we will see. But quickly write this down first. 